So please make welcome uh, to present her master's thesis in three minutes from the School of Architecture, Maria Wokwan Tan. Consider this. It's 6 a.m. You wake up, do a lot of laundry, make breakfast and lunch, fill out school forms, drop the kids off at school, race to work for eight hours, pick up the kids, get the shopping, break up a fight, cook dinner, take out the garbage, tidy up, replace the light bulb, pay the bills, check homework and get them to bed. It's 11 p.m. and you hit the hat. And it starts all over again tomorrow. This is a typical day in the life of a single parent, alone and stressed, managing a whole family with the income of one individual. My research question is, how can architectural design support single parents? In 2001, there were 198,000 single parent families in New Zealand. In 2021, 251,000 families will be facing this situation. That's 20% of all New Zealand families. How can we bring individual single parents into a housing environment that encourages them to support each other through their daily struggles? How can housing design reduce our impact on the Earth's limited resources? And can architecture make shared housing desirable rather than just affordable? There is currently a variety of collective housing types. Group homes, co-housing, cooperative housing. My thesis maintains that none of these forms are ideal for the needs of single parents. A new form of housing is required. I've reviewed current literature and practice on collective housing forms. The variables of each form will then be critiqued in terms of their suitability for single parents. And then building on this knowledge, I will design a new form of housing on an inner city site in Wellington. This form will support individual single parents by harnessing the power of the collective. Thank you very much indeed for a very interesting presentation about a very important topic. You made some key points very, very clearly indeed. Thank you.